What in the world is this weird mystery box that we found with this strange foil? And what is inside this safe that we found buried in our backyard? I think today is the day and it's time that we figured it out. You're here on the Carl and Ginger family channel. Welcome home, you guys. I just put a new blade on our Dremel saw over here and I've got a plan. And today's the day we are gonna get this safe open and find out what's inside. Are you guys as excited to figure out what these things are and what's inside the safe as I am? I'm gonna go get Gingerific. We're gonna open these up. We're gonna figure it out one way or another because every day's a new day. Let's make it an awesome one. Look at these etchings up here. There's etchings? Whoa. Three, Three two, two, one, go. go. Oh, man. <clears throat> I guess I just... Oh. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys, it's been so crazy here at the house. I've had this mystery safe and this weird like thing box like just sitting in the garage. It's all cluttered, it's a huge mess because we've been remodeling. There's like toilets, there's benches and swings and ladders and all kinds of crazy stuff. You guys, our house has been such a disaster area but we've been working really hard on it. We put new stucco on the house. We're getting new landscaping done, check it out. We've got a bunch of palm trees and cool stuff already here. The landscapers are gonna come and start putting all that in. Just wait until you see the back patio. I'll take you over there and show you in just a minute. But it reminded me really quick that we are going to be at CVX Live in Provo, Utah, September 21st and 22nd. I'll put a link down in the description below. A lot of really cool YouTubers are gonna be there. Our friends Daily Bumps are gonna be there. Carter Share and Lizzie are gonna be there. Chad Wildclay and V are gonna be there. A whole bunch of our friends are gonna be there. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, hey Ginger. Hey guys. Who else is coming to CVX Live? Oh man, so many cool people. Daily Bumps, Steven Share. Right, Carter Who else? Share. Carter Share. Lizzie's Zamalo. gonna be there. Who's kind of mad at me right now? Oh, I know. Rebecca Zamalo's. Rebecca's gonna be there. Gonna be there. They're um, so cool. Guava Who Juice. Else? Karina yes. Garcia, uh, Sean I mean, a whole bunch of really cool YouTubers. I are am be there. so freaking excited, you guys. It's I be cannot really cool. wait. Tickets are on sale right now. The link is down in the description below. If you want to come meet us in person, get some autographs, get some pictures with us, hang out. It's going to be a party for two whole days at that convention center. Get your tickets now and check it out. You don't want to miss it. Look at this, you guys. We are painting all the cement out here. We're changing all the swings in the back. We're really freshening up the place. So here's the new paint. This is the old paint. This is all getting redone. And we've redone this whole back patio area. I know it's in a big shadow right now, but wow. Which I love. It, I just love it so much. I know, it looks so gorgeous. It's still a little bit messy here, but we put a drain in right here so all the water can run off by the pool. We got our hot tub set back up and all this stuff. We even made like a little platform for it. And then check out this little back patio that we made. It's so awesome. We got our lounge chairs in here. Oh, why is there like an ugly towel on this? Look at this. We got these beautiful pots oh, right there. And then we've got this whole seating area and it's all been remodeled and nice. I think it needs like a little table in there, don't you think? I think so. Or like, we need to like plant the pot. Yeah, there's a lot of finishing it. touches. We're gonna put some plants in these, but I don't know, let us know what you think. It looks gorgeous. And don't worry, we're gonna repaint all the outlets and all that stuff. It's still a work in progress, but coming along nicely. We really love it here and it's coming along awesome. It's gonna be great to film videos out here, but what we've gotta do first is figure out what's inside the safe and what's inside that weird mystery box with the knob and the foil. I think it's time to go inside and crack it all open. What do you think, blue dog? <laughs> he doesn't know what this thing is either. He's, he's like, I want no part of this. He's gonna keep a safe Maybe distance. he's feeling vibes. You know how dogs are like that, Carl? Maybe he's, he's like, he's like, don't do it. You okay? This. Is that weird? Are you nervous? He's acting so weird he's right now. He's acting really weird right now. You know how dogs like have a sixth <laughs> sense? What? You guys, what do you think Blue's trying to tell us? Tell us down in the comments below. What do you think, Ginger? I don't know. I'm like 30% excited and 100% nervous. Well, I think what we need first of all is mystery lighting. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I think let's look around on the outside. Okay. Uh, I think we've shoved it in the duffel bag already and ran around with it. So we're not going to find any fingerprints or anything. But, but look at these etchings up here. There's etchings? Whoa. There's a bunch of numbers. I have no idea. I don't know what that is. What kind of numbers are those? I don't know. That's not like a GPS. Coordinates. I, I, I have no idea. It, it has letters mixed with numbers. That's is so there, weird. Is that enough numbers to be a combination for the safe? Oh. Wait, that doesn't make any sense okay. though because like one, two, three to open the safe. Right. So if it's double digit numbers for each turn, that's two, four, six, 
numbers, right? And there is a sequence of six numbers at the end. Should I just try it? Let's just peel the foil off. Really? I'm, I'm so tired okay. of waiting. Okay. I just want to see what's inside these mystery boxes. Ready? Anything that we collect, we'll just put like in this little bin. Okay. I'm going to start over here and just peel it down. Okay. Wow, it's really stuck. Is it really? You can see kind of like some sort of adhesive. Oh gosh. Do you see that? There's yeah. like Yeah, is that what all the stringy? glitter stuff is? is I don't know. It looks like foil, but it's not really like cooking foil. No, it's not like aluminum foil that like I It reminds guess. me more like one of those space blankets. You know what I mean? Hmm. Like that they use like if you're cold like in an your emergency. emergency blanket type thing. Oh, there's a huge warning label. What? It's okay, all wait. in English. Okay, that's danger. Weird, right? Yeah, that's so weird. Danger. Batteries may release uh, that during charging. Explosive. Charge the batteries well ventilated area. It's some sort of a battery. Before energizing equipment, make sure you wear the switch position the same as the available input power. What in the world? Whoa! Look at that. Charge time, hours remaining. What, what in, in the, the world, world is this? You guys, I did not expect this to be what's under here. I thought it was just gonna be like a box with like some sort of like a keyhole or something like that. But look, what do you guys think? I have no idea what this is. This, I've never seen a device like this before at all. It is super look, bizarre. charge time, what? It's like an analog electric battery. It doesn't have like a volume. It can't be a radio. Channel, it could be. Does it have a volume though? I don't know. There's this whole like dial and knob and everything. And I mean, then look at it all looks these like tuning, a charger. tuning knobs and stuff. What are these switches though? Do, do, they, I, do I dare, like why are these set in this specific? Well, well, that's what it said in the, in the specific, it says right up here that you have to have this uh, switch positions the same as the available input power. Carl, I don't know about you, but I am getting more nervous about this. I don't know what it is, but there's an electrical I mean, cable. There's like a cord. It definitely plugs Look in. It. That looks so old. I don't want to do anything with this or plug this in or even do any of that until we figure out what's inside the safe first. I mean, I think we just have to just get these things open so that we know what we're working with. I mean, what if there's something in there that makes this make sense? What if they're not even connected and it's two completely different things? I don't know. Oh, wow. Wait, you didn't even charger. say that there was stuff on the back. Sorry. Look at this. Charger, battery, look at this. There's even serial numbers on here. This is looks like old military stuff. It's There's like, like a little little hatch. Oh my gosh, that's like a, a hinge. Like a little compartment, <gasps> like a little compartment in there. With a warning on it. Get the last of that heat shield stuff off of there. Here's what's weird. When we found this by the petroglyphs, it was cold and it was like sparkling and it still has this weird like sparkle or shimmer to it, almost like it's got glitter on it or something. I mean, I don't feel it as cold It's not as, as it cold now. What would I just do? Did it do that by itself? No, I think I had it on the cord. Oh, geez, that Gosh. scared me so bad. You guys, that totally scared me. It's like all these warnings all over it. Let's, okay, let's not just like drop it or bang it around, <laughs> okay. please. Let's be careful. Okay. Whatever's going on with this device, whether it's some sort of like a charger or battery, like it looks like it's like, come from outer space or it's some old military thing. It's like X-Files or something. I don't know, but I'm ready to open the safe. How about you? Yeah, let's do it. Well, I got a grinder. My plan here is I'm just gonna use this and just power tool my way all the way in here. But I was thinking, I got this extension cord already set up for the grinder. What if I just like plug this in? Yeah, do it. No, I'm just I kidding. I thought you were joking. Are you serious? No, I'm totally joking. Do not. That could There's be no so way. Dangerous. I thought for Carl, sure that, that you would be... tell me not to do this. That do not do that, Carl. It's so tempting. Do not. What if it like turns on? Yeah. What if it? What if like, it like puts us in danger, Carl? Well, what we if I plug it in and it like teleports me into an alternate dimension that and would I make, make me really sad. I make contact Stop with it. extraterrestrials or like it teleports me to Area 51 or or I plug it in and maybe the power goes out and nothing happens. I'm too nervous. Okay. We can't do. It. I I think it's we not can't. gonna be safe if this is gonna be sending sparks off with all the cautions on this. We should probably move this out of the way. I that. think that's a really good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Are you ready for this, Carl? I don't know. My curiosity is overpowering my caution right now. Here's I my plan. Know. I'm just gonna go right on this and I'm just gonna take the hinges just, off. Just take the hinges right Here off. Here we go. Wish me luck, you guys. Smash that like button and let us know what do you think is inside the safe. Here we go. Here we go in three, three two, two, one, one go. go. Wow, it's 
almost cut all the way through, but I'm a little bit worried with all the smoke that we're gonna set off the smoke alarm, so we better open some windows. I would say that you're more than halfway through that, Carl. Let's Good should I job. just go for it? Yeah, just go, just for, go it. for it. Okay, let's do it. If the alarms go off, they go off. We're just gonna do this. Ready? Yeah, here, here we go. go. Go, guys. Really close now, look at this. There you go. Is that it? I think it went almost all the way through. Here we go. I'm gonna okay. Oh, look, 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 look. The top just came off. Whoa. There it is. That's Whoa. it. I wonder if I could tap this all the way out if I had the right tools. I'm gonna go get some tools and see if we can figure this out. That is definitely solid metal in there. That is crazy that he actually cut through that. I would totally be lying if I told you guys I wasn't super nervous to see what's inside that safe. If you guys remember, we actually went in with a little micro camera and there was something in there that kind of looked like kind of shiny and it seemed like it was towards the front. What could possibly be in there? I have no idea. I'm so nervous. Carl, did you find something? I got a few things that we can try. What if I just use this bolt? I don't know if it's the right size or not. Oh, it might be too big. Oh, yeah. I think it's too big. Dang it. I'll try it. I'm going to just put it on here. And if I hit this with the hammer, maybe we can pop this thing out. Ready? Man, I hope that so, works. Oh, it, that it's work? totally working. Look. Okay, I'll watch Look. the bottom here. It seems like it's working. I might just get this stuck in there. It's my... <laughs> Maybe I'll try with go, go with something more narrow like the screwdriver. Oh look, it goes all the way down in there. What, what? happens if I just pull on this? Whoa! It's moving, right? It's totally moving. Okay, I think I just need to get the grinder and I need to cut the bottom hinge off too. Okay, we're gonna take off that bottom one now? Yeah. You ready? Yep. We have no idea what's in here. Makes so me so nervous. If this thing falls off, I don't know. You like be really careful, okay? Okay. Here we go. Wow, I don't know if I got all the way through or not, but look. Whoa. It totally eliminated the entire blade of this Dremel saw. This is some tough material. Carl, it's hanging on by a thread. Oh my I'm word. I'm just gonna give it a good hit here with this pry bar, ready? Yes. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, you got it. Look, there it is. That's it, that's the whole thing. Oh it's just word. like a little pin this entire time. That's all that was holding it together. Why is that like, so, that must be really strong metal. If I don't know. If it was that small and was so strong. Ginger, are you ready? <sighs> yeah, I am ready. I'm so nervous. I don't but... know if this is even gonna work. Oh, look, it's moving. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Ready? I yes. think I've got it now. Oh man. <clears throat> I guess I just, oh! whoa. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that, look. It looks the same as the radio thing, or that battery box, or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, that color right there. Whoa! What even is Whoa! That? What is that? Ginger! Carl, do Ginger. not touch that. Do not touch that. That is not like anything I expected. Whoa. It smells. That's it's, making me really nervous. It's like a slime. It's like smeared. I'm just gonna carefully, look, there's something in the door. Whoa, wait a second. What is that? <gasps> Do you remember when we put the spy camera down in there and yes. we took that picture? Yes! The four little holes remind me of a cell phone, like those old style cell phones and that have like the ear hole in Right. I think that's totally what we got with the spy camera. I think it was just like, we got a picture of the door because I don't remember seeing any of this stuff. No, and I do remember seeing kind of like a light and I wonder if there was like light reflecting off of that. Right, what, what is it? What even is it? Oh my gosh, I know what this is. What? I know exactly what this is, you guys. It's an old camera. What? Look, like a it's a film camera? Like an old film camera. Look, it winds up right there. It's got the lens thing right there. Look, you look right through it. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I can you're see right. you. You're look. totally right. Can you see me through there? Yes. Yes. It's an old camera. That Carl, means there could be film on it. That's what I was going to say. What is on it? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm going to set that right here. But what is this stuff, you guys? What is it? Is it like, is it slimy like you said? I don't know. Should I just like touch it with the yeah. screwdriver? Yeah, just like barely touch it. Okay, it's not soft, right? Look, look. It's like, oh, oh, it's like this stuff, kind of. Look, like, it's like that weird powdery clay stuff that we dug out. Look at the color of it, though. Yeah, and it like stinks so bad. 
I think we should just stop right here. I mean, I just feel like we need to take our time right now because that is really scary. I know, and look, Blue is like all curious about this thing. Yeah, he Blue, doesn't know what's going come on. Come over here, don't go by come that. On. I think what we need to do is we need to make sure that this is all safe. We need to get it out of the house. It's stinking up the house like really bad. So we're gonna take this back outside. We're gonna secure this stuff. We're gonna call some of our friends and see what we should do next. Tell us down in the comments below, what should we do? Should we dig into this? Should we call our friends and get some help? What should we do with this weird mystery box? Let us know down in the comments below. But for now, I think that's good enough for today. We gotta get this out of the house. What I totally think? agree. Yeah, you guys, if you guys like this video and you wanna get caught up on all the stories and the backstory and everything that's going on, click anywhere on the screen in order to subscribe or to watch those videos. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.